The River Styx. River Styx, that's it. There's a, the boat has a name and so does the person that... Yeah, well, we're not that educated. We, did, we slept to those classes. Yeah, I like it. It works. One, two, three, like right after each other. Yep, okay. Now what do you do with these? Trim so, these? Yeah, now, now you trim these and then... <laughs> what are you doing, girl? You just notice the camera? <laughs> yeah, ham. You're being a ham. Okay, this is Lazy Jack's Mark I coming together. I mean, it's, uh, we plan on doing them multiple times, but the idea is to have something to hold the bottom of the sail up when it comes down, it folds up inside of the Lazy Jacks. Two, three, come on. Work. One, two, three, come on. Ginger, you like that? Four. Did you just yawn? <laughs> Stop! Alright, it's free. Yeah. Ooh, it's coming forward. God damn, it's a big yard. This is, this is not the biggest one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's blowing my mind. It's tight, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure it holds it. Oh, make sure the clutch doesn't slip? Yeah. It's never had this much load on it, so we're load testing too. Yeah. Okay, all looks good. Yeah, those are super yacht clutches. <laughs> For what I paid for them, they ought to be super young. I know, right? Oh my god, yeah. Come here! Huh. Come here! Just stand here and look! It's so fucking cool, man! <laughs> it is nice, isn't it? Dude! Yeah. <laughs> it's just two battens up. <laughs> That's so fucking cool! <laughs> All right. We ought to be able to pull. Oh, because the bundle's out of that now. That's why that's loose. Yep. Yeah, maybe we can get it all the way up there without a block and tackle. So, so right now the line from in there goes out, hits a pulley, goes up to the top of mast, comes over the top of the mast, and back down to the sail, and pulling the whole sail up. We could put a block and tackle in there, and that would reduce the force required on the winch back there to lift the sail, but you got to lift twice, three times as much line, depending on how many falls you put in there. So it gets easier, but you got to do the same amount of work, just over more distance. Oh, I like that. Now I know what they mean when they say you need to tune your sailing rig. <laughs> How's single feel? That's single. It's not bad. It's just slow as shit. Well, yeah, but it's catching a little wind. Yeah? Yeah, breeze came out of the east. <laughs> and it's laundry day on SV Seeker. Uh, later on, that'll be a sheave that's uh, mounted on the side of the mast there. Really done. Um, let me go get the one forward. You want me to take in some on the boom so that it comes towards you? Um, yeah, but let me get out of here before you do that. Okay. Just because I don't trust anything yet. <laughs> don't blame me. All right, got it. Putting the entire thing, and the end isn't sitting on the boom crutch. Then we can lock the jack off and lower the sail into the jack. Yeah, it's got clearance on the Lazy Jacks now. All right, here's the bummer. The uh, battens are on the wrong side of the mast, so this sail actually goes on the other side the way we put the battens on. I had planned them to be on the other side, but we've got them all done wrong now. The only thing that really plays in badly here is it brings this bundle, the main bundle, over onto this side, and it's on the same side as the crane. I don't like that. And that's really the only thing. But I'm kind of thinking I'm going to take them all down, take all the battens off, and move them. Needs more work, but damn. I just love the look of that. And this day. Cool. Yep, you're down. I like it. A lot more work to do, but the idea is right. Yeah. Boy, did I sleep well last night. It's cool having the sails up, even though we got to do a lot more work on them. Now, let me explain something here. Um, I want that sail bundle on this side of the mast, so that's why we're going to shift the battens over. The reason why I want that one on that side of the mast is because I want this one on that side of the mast, so we're going to have to switch this one around too. And I could just move this over here, but the problem with that is it would interfere with the crane forever. So it's going to stay over there. We're going to switch all the battens. We'll just get it the way it was designed, not the way it was built. We built it right because we built it twice. 
Well, the neighbors are having breakfast this morning. What do you think, Darwin? Want some fish? Oh, don't you like cheese, guys? Come on, buzzards. Cheese. Ooh, Cheetos. They love Cheetos. Hey, Doug, you got any Cheetos? Yum. Well, the new motor's in, and I just kind of guessed at the displacement based on the size of this one, you know, and the size of the old one. I think this will be right. We'll find out. The crane will either work a little faster or a little slower. <laughs> Leaks is good. That there is Dan Starr. Take a bow, Dan. He's a uh, he's a you're a what do you say? you're a commercial diver. That's correct. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> and warning: when you shake hands with Dan, he will he can break your hand. Just made me feel like a pwn. Okay, weights on the jacks. Look, and they're holding. Hey. Okay, you can slack that one. Doug's figure eight Wonderland. <laughs> Man. Hey, oh. it's only not you know how to tie. That's the one you tie. Yeah. All right, that's good. Well done. The only downside is. All right, Dustin is a, not aficionado, and this is an anchor hitch, which is working great because it doesn't have anything above it really, so it can get really close to the blocks up above if it needs to. You have to memorize that one. Like that? Yeah. There's two. Yeah. I see. That's what I tied your yeah. tied you off to the bollard with. Yeah, this is this is meant to pull off like this. Yep. You did what to my bollard? <laughs> Okay, it's official. All three sails are wrong, so the mizzen two is down. Oh, look at that. There. Oh, there's somebody at home. That's mom. Sorry, mom. Oh, oh. there you are. Very non-aggressive. I like that. A pacifist spider. You're a happy little spider, aren't you? She's mad at go, you. Go lay your eggs somewhere else, all right? Cut me free, why don't you, babe? So we're cutting all the zip ties out. And Dustin here has a better way of tying these. We're not going to use stainless steel this next time. Yeah, looky there. That's the first mayfly I've seen this year. They should be coming in droves soon. So these two rope nerds, I mean uh, professionals, <laughs> have come up with an alternative to the zip tie, and I like it much better. It's not going to cut anybody or the sail. No hard points. Yeah, so there's a, it's an arbor knot. So there's a granny knot with a granny knot on the tail. Okay, three wraps, the boring part's done, and then one. Oh, you're gonna. That's just an overhand. Yep. Overhand knot. Okay, that's just in. Wait a minute. Okay, so you tied the overhand on it, so it's a slip knot now. Yep. Granny knot on it. On the tail. On the tail. And another, that's a knot in the end of the line. So the slip knot will slide down to that second knot you put in there. Oh, and it just cinches down like that. And now that end goes underneath after it's cinched down a little bit. Okay. I like the grunt good effect. Wait, what are you doing there? Are oh, you just tying another granny knot in it? Mm-hmm. Ah, so it pulls back down against that one. And you cinch the other direction. Nice. That's actually tighter than what the uh, zip ties do, because they actually back off a little bit. And you cut it close, no big deal. Alright, this is where the zip tie method actually works easier, because you can just send the zip tie around you know, stick a screwdriver through and bring it back out on this side. The string has to be wrapped around three times. So that takes more coordination. Hanging the sail up and letting two people work on both sides is one way. And catching it with a piece of wire is the other way. Well, I think uh, Doug's going with the hook method. Yeah, it works, but uh, you're, it's you're hanging the sail that's going to be the deal. I mean, this sail, yeah, the rest of them. It's working out quite nicely, but it's not going to be practical for the big sales. We'll have to figure something else out. Can I quote you on that? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> what are you doing, Doug? I'm jacking around with it. I'm trying something different. I shouldn't be, but I am. I can't get my fingers to work. See, that should... just not going to tighten up at all. 
That was not going to slide. Ah, f*** this one to the pooch. We're going to wear cut this sh Maybe we're not the only ones thinking about floating down the Mississippi. Well, I like bolts better in the other yard, so now that I'm changing up the mizzen, I decided to put bolts here too. Yard and the plate that the how your yanks on? Yeah. You're gonna have very little room for that. <laughs> And it's nice to have videos to refer to because, yes, right, this is the mess we got to put on here and then we got to put these things on here. Okay, yeah, I don't even have, you don't, we don't even need all the, all the Pirelles tied. And this shows how the sheets are done. See, there's a little wooden block there and then that bigger Euphro is right there in my hand there. So it just spreads the load out. But just what you can do then is you can move the line through these blocks and you can make this shape of the sail back here what you want. So that is the spot in the batten where the sheet will attach. And we have sheets attached from both sides. So what the guys are doing is they're tying in rope grommets here. Is that uh, amp steel? Yes. Very strong rope grommets. 3 sixteenths amp steel. And braiding them back to each other. Basically it goes around the, the uh, batten twice and then it gets braided back into itself. If it's gonna be permanent, we can whip that too. So Perel's tied to the front of each batten and that's what that is. Then it's gonna go around the mask and connect back to the batten somehow. We're gonna use a hose clamp to start with because it's an adjustable piece. Because you can see what's happening is the sail's hanging from the mast up above and it all wants to swing forward. These Perel's come back, wrap around the mast and stop it from swinging forward. Nice. Yeah, glad we're tonight. not doing the main. I better get out of town before you get to that. <laughs> that starts tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. And is it going to come this way once no. it gets through? No. It goes It'll the other go, way. Yep, over this one and under the next one. You want one tuck on all three legs. At moments like this, it's important just to smile, okay? Because not only did we move the batons to the other side of the sail thinking, oh, that'll fix it. No. The sail's backwards, it's turned, yeah, like that. The back edge of that sail is what's straight, and that should be up here, these should be there, the batten should be on the other side, the yard needs to be turned around. All right, third time's a charm, right? Here's the best piece of advice I give anybody about building anything. Be patient, it's okay. You will make mistakes and you will work them out. It's all about your attitude, whether you go back tomorrow or not. Don't quit. Okay, so it will be turned around, and it's not for having not looked at it. We, we all three looked at it, and we thought, that's the back end. And when you look at it here on the floor, it looks like a freaking back end. It's not. It's the front end. Maybe, you know, next time I'll write on the back of the sail. Back of sail. Okay, well, the good news is we got this one laying up here backwards, too. So all we got to do is turn it around. It means the battens are already on the right side. Hallelujah. And the foresail up there, we've already had that up. We know it's wrong, so all the battens have to change sides, too. So at least it's the little sail that we got to do twice, three times, whatever it is. We were just talking about how uh, you know you're on a Chinese junk is when you have more sheets than you know what to do with. The good thing is it all comes down to one per side, so two sheets per sail. You know what? With a sunset like that and being out here on the water, even at the end of a not-so-great day, it's still a good day. On the upside, get really good at tying these knots. Moving the battens to the other side. Again, <laughs> it's Memorial Day. Uh, for all of you that have lost somebody to battle and earning or protecting our freedoms, I appreciate it. I think the best thing we can do to honor them is to go out and exploit those freedoms. I think too many of us just follow the pattern set down for us, don't even question it. You know. Go to school, make money, buy a car, buy a house, go on vacations on cruise ships, do all the things that are just laid down and made easy for us. I wonder what we'd be doing if we thought more about what we wanted to be doing and what really made us happy. It is the pursuit of happiness, right? Something to think about. I like what I'm doing. Yeah, my neighbors are out for a walk this morning. Oh, and a swim. things we just
discovered is uh, the battens are not wrong on the mainsail. The mainsail is actually sitting in here wrong. It needs to be turned around. So that's the operation for this morning. Well, I got strong crew. That's looking good. Set her down and remove the jacks. Yep. something you don't want to see. One, two, three. Okay, when we pull it back that last bit, it's going to swing, so we've tied a tag line on this side to keep it from going too far. One, two, three. All right, coming down. Down easy. Down easy. At this stage of the process, Dan down there is at the forward end of the sail, so it's gonna whole thing has to just rotate around. Stop, stop. That choker has to come off. Keep it on, keep it on. Tigers off of that handrail, and that'll keep it in place. Looks good there. That bowling should have a partner. Yeah, that those two. Yeah. What do you think? It's working. Oh uh, yeah, Pharrell's next, I think, and then we need to adjust the jacks. We need to take some length out of this. Okay. Coming up. Coming up. I thought I had it right, you know? Can I tie her off? Who the f tied that on? I hope it wasn't me. <laughs> Wait. Nothing, nothing. That ain't no spice of no, mine. No, no. It's not just Ah, uh, some asshole tied it on the wrong it's, side. You throw a bowl in it for now. <laughs> Not tied, not tied, splice. Splice. <laughs> yeah, it's, hey, hey, it's just the one. Yeah, you can do a splice in no time flat. You know what I've taught you guys? I've taught you how to laugh at the up, okay? So. I've been laughing at myself for years, so yeah. I already knew how to uh, do that. You're a pro, that's why. <laughs> These amateurs need to learn that lesson. Yeah, I apologize for putting it on the wrong side. It's my thing now. Chinese would have loved hose clamps. Okay. You'd be good. Allow me to step off the boat and show you that. Yes. Yeah. And the battens are on the right side and the Pharrells are on. And we only had to redo it three times. It might even look better just because we've made so many mistakes on it. It's yeah, finally if done. If I drop the halyard right now, is it going to sit level? Uh, no, it's going to sit low in the ass. Yeah, which is not what you want. This is why Chinese junks reign supreme among boats. If you want to reef easily, that is the reefing. Just let the sail down. Beautiful. Keep everything very orderly. <laughs> we get all these lengths right, it might be good to bunch it up, hang it from the halyard, take all the ropes ashore, and make it hard splices so it can't run. Not Fuck through that, yes. Not run through that thimble. Fuck yes. Okay, we got a hell of a test bed going here because we got uh, fishing line ties and zip ties holding our battens to the sails and bolts on the ends to hold this plastic backing strip, which is just a piece of ABS pipe that's been slit. We'll see how long that lasts in the sun. I think it'll do okay. But then we, on these sails, we use these uh, stainless steel zip ties, and I was happy about putting them on, but the pain is rolling this up. But Dan here has another way. Now, what I've always done with them 
is you know you're using pliers to pull these tight usually they're yeah, hard to grip exactly and then you just fatigue them back and forth it breaks off just inside of there where it won't stick out far enough to catch your fingers or tear anything up there it goes nothing there to catch you and it's still locked you're right that is nice now that we're going to take the forward sail apart i have the choice of stainless steel or the strings that we used on the uh, mizzen let me show you that now those are what the final ties look on the mizzen i don't know i kind of like the the, the fishing line is 300 pound test it goes around three or four times before we tie it off ask me in three or four years i'll have a good opinion then maybe i think both will work it's just nice to have options you know yeah so our job this morning is take everything off this sail up here and i'm very happy we escaped that on the main well there is still a lot of work to do on these sails like for instance we have to figure out where these sheets are going to come in be let into here and how they're going to be tied off and then we're going to need some sort of a winch mounted in here to hoist the thing so that one person can send this up. The big sails are done with the winch inside the pilot house, but not this one. And Dan had to pull out, but we got the four sail all taken back apart. I'm just waiting for supplies to get here to put it back together. Look at this. The river's coming down. It's dropped about a couple feet, so maybe when we're ready to go, it'll be back to normal. The Arkansas is flowing pretty good out there. <laughs> like to have done this before the spools fell apart but not everything runs by the timeline we want oh that's cool he turned broadside to the river and when he was lined up with the entrance here to the port he gunned it what do you think darwin think we can do that too are you crazy or something but it does remind me of something mark twain said in his book Life on the Mississippi, by the shadow of death. But he's a lightning pilot, I'll say. And for those of you that uh, support us on PayPal and Patreon, I want to say thank you very much. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos, and that makes it worthwhile for us to do. Um, I'm going to take a little break though. I'm going on a little vacation from my vacation. Darwin and I are going to play a little miniature golf and go see Captain Charlie up there. And uh, we'll be back soon enough. And until then, remember, take advantage of your freedoms. Go out and make something. And most importantly, let other people take advantage of their freedoms too.